Hi, let's understand the different standard bodies who are actually working towards evolving these technologies right from 1G up till 5th generation and going forward for 6G also. Now, there are two standard bodies. One is International Telecommunication Union, ITU, and 3GPP, which is Third Generation Partnership Project. Now, both these different standard bodies, they have their own framework and focus areas. So ITU is basically focusing on defining the overall concept behind the different technologies, be it 3G, 4G, 5G for that matter, and what are the different technical deliverables that will be actually met by this, these different technologies that are defined by ITU. On the other hand, 3GPP defines and produces the different reports and specification on the basis of whatever the technicalities and performance requirement that have been defined by ITU. Now, there are different specifications which have been rolled out by 3GPP time to time, depending upon the different technologies. And within the same technologies, there are different enhancements and advancements that have been done. So, right, go back to 1990s. 1990s, if you see the 2G was launched at that time and there were different phases in which the evolution happened towards 2.5G, which was GPRS, 2.75G, which was Edge. So until 1998, it was, it was released 98, which was up till there, it was 2G technology or GSM technology. After that, there was 3G technology, which was again having five different release depending upon certain evolution in terms of data speeds, in terms of new features have been added. We'll talk about those different evolution in subsequent slides. 4G then after started from release eight and there again, we have seen multiple advancements in terms of LTE advanced where it was more towards adding up new features, adding up more carriers to provide higher data throughput data rates and it is actually improving the customer experience with every evolution of different releases in 4G technology. Then after there was LTE Advanced Pro where actually it is more paving a path towards the 5G technology where the infrastructure and the architecture was evolving where it was moving towards more virtualization, cloudification and we'll talk about all these different terms in detail. After release 14, there was 5G technology, which is basically derived from release 15 onwards. And currently it is on release 18, but further enhancements are happening continuously to improve the experience of the customers and improve the efficiency of the network both ways.